What's up guys, it's Zach Jack Dan back with another Every Thundercats video. This time we're talking about the Thundercats leader, Lion O. So back in the 80s we had the LJN product 1986 released the Thundercats. So we had an orange hair and a red haired variant of Lion O. Here's some of the heroes and here's some of the villains that we saw in this first couple waves. But here's Lion O with his orange hair. This one came with a snarf. Had the light up eyes. You could stick that little flashlight thing on his back. Had his glove and his sword, power sword. And then here's the red version. Had the red hair. And this one did not come with snarf. Also had mini figures. A whole line of fi mini figures and things. Had the play set like the uh, cat's lair and whatnot. But here's a mini figure of Lino. Uh, Thundercats 1985 was when the animated show came on. And we had 130 episodes over four seasons. First season had 65. Second season went through 90. Third season went through 110. And then the fourth season went through 130. Marvel Comics or Star Comics back in 1985 also started with the comic books. They had a 24 issue series from spanned from 1985, December 1985 to June 1988. Then they came out, UK Marvel Comics did another 100 issue span for five years and then DC Wildstorm has done another one. So we just went a whole lot of years without any kind of figures, but we finally got a relaunch uh, in 2011. And this was a mega scale figure from Mezco. This is a 14 inch Lino. So we got several different versions of this figure. The other version had a snarf with him. And then we had another version that uh, was open mouth and also had a variant with the uh, his eyes kind of glowing this was a comic-con exclusive I believe yeah SDCC and this one was 15 inch uh, we also had a new series that started about that same time in 2010 2011 I believe the series came out and only spanned 26 episodes And had a lot of uh, Bandai figures in that line. These were six inch right here that we're looking at. And wave one only had Lino, Mumra, and Panthro. Wave two had Tigra and Chitara. Then they also had a four inch line. That four inch line had the Lion-O, Tiger, Chitara, Panthro, Wily Kit, Wily Cat, Mumra. And you saw the picture of the whole wave right there. Right before this. And this is wave two figure. Had more of a larger gauntlet on his arm that he could wear at this time. And that wave two had Lion-O, Panthro, Mumra, and Claudius, or Claudus. That is also four inch. And then he came with a vehicle, the Thunder Racer, in that four-inch line. And then there was a deluxe figure that came out. And these were also four-inch, but this was a four-inch deluxe because it had this extra um, Eye of Thundera, I guess is what it is. There was an Armor of Omens that came out for lion -O. Very large 12 inch exoskeleton figure. Could open up and put this gold lino into it. And then you had some more smaller figures, um, Target exclusive with Tiger Mumra, Lino, and Snarf. They called this one the Eye of Thundera pack. And then there was another one, had a gold lino in it, Snarf, Mumra, and a clear Tiger. This was the ultimate figure pack. 
This was a Argos exclusive. I believe Argos is some uh, some overseas brand. They also had this claw shield that you could buy, so you could play with it on your arm. And they also had the uh, the claw shield with the sword set. And that sword looks like it could expand, so that was kind of cool. There was a super deformed figures line, and also you can get it in this uh, this box, but you could also get them in blind bags. And blind bags, you could uh, get this other kind of a clear variant figure of Lino. Minifigure Series 1. Had 12 to collect. And then in Latin America they did, Sunny Toys did a line of these as well, or a few of them. So here's the Lino of that that Sunny Toys Bandai brand. And then also over in Brazil I believe. You had Bandarantes. I don't know what brand that is, but you had a few in that one. Here's the lion -O. And then we had some 8-inch and 6-inch Thundercats Classics figures from Bandai. Kind of look more like the original toy line. So Bandai was going crazy with some figures here, it looks like. Uh, this particular style, this 8-inch style right here, came in several different costumes. This one with the closed mouth. This one was SDCC exclusive. And they came with that little um, stand for the claw glove and the, and the sword. Another SDCC exclusive uh, was a mirror version. Or a mumra version, I guess. Also came with that little extra baggie so you can have your uh, stand for your sword and your glove. And then you have the open mouth version. And I believe this one's the six inch figure. And then um, most recently in 2019, we got some releases of these Savage World Thundercats, more of a five and five inch figure. Kind of looks like the He-Man figures. But here's the lino for that. Here is a. I don't know what these are called, Dorbs. And Lion O, <laughs> Mumra, and Snarf. I had the SDCC exclusive uh, flocked version of the Pop for, for Lion O, and then the regular Lion O version as well. Mini Mates had two lines with Lion O in it. The first one was more of a angry looking lion, I guess, in series one. And in the second series, he was more happy. There's a vinyl lion with Mumra. We had a lion cereal. I don't know if that was real because it says Funko, but it had a little figure in it. There are Thundercats, I don't know what you consider these cards, um, they remind me of the uh, Garbage Pail Kids, but they were called Magic Marker Art, and there's a Funko Pop Pez Dispenser Lion O'Head. So they put out some uh, footage here, if you want to grab that link or copy it or whatever, I'll have it in the description, uh, for some test footage of a movie that they had put out at one time. Not bad. But they never made it, of course. Uh, there was also some word out that uh, Brad Pitt, Hugh Jackman, and uh, Vin Diesel were going to play the Thundercats roles at one time. Of course, that never happened either. We had the Loyal Subjects and those uh, different variants of Target, Walmart, Walgreens, uh, all kinds of other versions out there, but this particular one was the one that came with Snarf. I think this was uh, more probably the... I don't remember who released this one. There's a Gold Glove variant. There is the... That's probably it as well, I guess. There's a Lino with a more of a Red Glove, 1 in 48 variant. Of course, these... Uh, these are 3.2 inches tall, these loyal subjects. Uh, 
there's several different variants that were released. Battle Damage, Mirror, Neon, and Walgreens. And here they are. Here's the Battle Damage. That was a Walmart exclusive. Here's the Mirror. That was 2 and 12. I don't know who released that one. Target. Target released that one. Here is the Neon. Here's the Walgreens uh, 2011 um, series uh, version of the Loyal Subjects. You also had one with metallic weapons, glow in the dark, crystal blue, crystal clear, and crystal orange. So here's the clear, the blue. And the orange, and these were SDDC exclusives. And here is the glow in the dark and the metallic weapon variant versions. So, Maddie Collector, after their He Man success, they tried to start a line of the Thundercats, and it didn't go very far because Maddie just decided that they were going to stop, and Super 7 took over. So here's the line of the Lino, Panthro, Mumra, Jackalman, and Pumira. That's what they look like. They also uh, came out with the SDCC of the twins. So here's Lino. And of course, that line didn't go any further than that. But later on, uh, we will get to Super 7. So here is the new animated show that came on called Thundercats Roar. 2019 on the Cartoon Network. And Super 7 comes out with what we call Thundercats Ultimates. And it's the exact same figures, but they've given us a lot more attachments and weapons and whatnot. So get your pre-orders on those guys. If you want that line to keep on going. Supposedly they got 16 figures out planned for us for at least this next year. Releasing every three months, four figures in each wave. However, they're about $45 a figure. So Thundercats have appeared with Superman in the comics. Thundercats appeared with He-Man in the comics. And here are some statues. one-fifth scale this particular one is. On the right hand side you'll see before they got it colored. Here's another statue. Sideshow collectibles. And here's three other statues. Hard hero lion statues in the middle and lion pop culture statues on the right from Sideshow. One fourth scale. Not sure who the one on the left is. And here are some busts, dream creations, and then Edin Show Maga toy show. I don't know what that is. Looks like that one's got light up eyes. So, guys, here are all of the animation that we've seen over the years through comics, TV shows, and hopefully movies one of these days. Here are all these statues and busts that we've seen. Here are all the loose figures that they've produced for us over the years, whether it be Bandai, Mesco, or whoever, Maddie or Super 7. And here they all are in package to see what all you've missed or would like to try to find on the on the black market out there. <laughs> Second hand market I should say I guess. But again if you're wanting to push for something I'd push for Super 7 right now because it looks like we might actually find and get a good line. So guys I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
Hit the like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have like this. And I will talk to you guys later.